Okay, so uh, today we are going to talk a little bit about the ultrasonic sensor for the V5. Uh, so the ultrasonic sensor sends out a sound wave, and uh, depending on how far away things are, uh, the sound wave comes back sooner or later, and so this thing can tell you how far away objects are, can detect objects and avoid them, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's check out the, um, the code for uh, the ultrasonic sensor. And the prob maybe the most confusing thing is, uh, first remember, you need to configure it. Um, when you configure the ultrasonic sensor, you're going to notice that there are two cords. Um, and if you notice up on the configuration window, uh, it is in C and D. The ultrasonic sensor must be plugged into two consecutive ports. Also, uh, you will see on the ultrasonic sensor, I don't know how well that's going to come in, but it says input and output. Output must go on the lower letter. So you can put it in D and E or E and F, F and G. But uh, the output must be the lower letter. So in this case, we need the output into C and then the input in D. Okay. Um, so then just let's take a look at, uh, of course, we need to name it. Um, and you can name it whatever you want. Um, but uh, remember that when you name it, in this case I named it Ultrasonic C, and it's plugged into C and D, then over in our code, it's got to um, be uh, referred to here exactly the same, including uh, case sensitivity. Uh, this program, uh, while one, drive, then drive forward. So while one, remember, means do something forever. And then everything inside the curly brackets is what it's going to do uh, forever. In this case, drive forward. And then uh, we're going to talk a little bit later about what this percent point one F is. Uh, then it refers to the ultrasonar. Uh, it's going to say that things are far away unless they are close. So you can uh, check that out in your notes and uh, uh, give that a try, see what happens.